After the game, Napier thanked the UConn fans, fans who gathered at Gamble to watch that game, fans who poured onto campus to celebrate together. News 8's Brian Spiros is in stores with that part of the story. The celebration at UConn has wrapped up for now. The cleanup is underway and students are excited about the big win. I walk through this school with pride. I was here when uh, we won in 2011. Uh, just, there's no words to describe it. Seconds after the UConn men were declared the 2014 NCAA champions, the Husky celebration was in full force on the school's campus in stores. There's music playing, everyone just going wild, having a great time. I was so stoked, like we won. Given the size of the crowd, precautions were taken. We've been seeing a lot of state troopers, um, a lot of fire department guys, um, a lot of Yukon police. Some people did get out of hand. A light pole was taken down, a window shattered, tables flipped, and debris left behind. Yukon police tell News 8 they made roughly 35 arrests. And the arrests, well, they may not stop there. Yukon police say they plan on reviewing the security cameras on campus to see if anybody else can be caught committing a crime. People were just having fun. It was just the stupid people that tried to ruin it for everyone, but it seemed like everyone was enjoying it. Everyone was being responsible. It was just an awesome time. Police had to break up the crowds early this morning. Now the focus shifts for the men's homecoming later this afternoon and the Yukon women who will also play for a big win tonight. Reporting from the Yukon campus in stores, Brian Spiros, News 8.